Welcome to Prime Life Radio, a place where you, the health conscious and fitness focused, come together to strengthen your body, sharpen your mind, and optimize your wellness. My name is Mark Abanig, and it's my honor to be your host. Here at Prime Life Radio, you'll never have to worry about all the noise and confusion in the fitness industry, because we're going to focus on proven, actionable steps to create the body and life that you want. All right, so you've specified a target weight and want to start making your way towards hitting that goal. Whether you're trying to lose 10 pounds or 100 pounds, a lot of times the most important principle you need to stick to is changing the amount of calories you take in and the amount that you use. Stick around and we're going to go over the basics of dropping that weight by taking control of your calories. Before we continue, I want to quickly ask you to help me grow this show so we can share information like this with other like-minded people and grow or try. Give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so you can instantly know when a new episode is up. Remember to stick around until the very end so you don't miss out on what I've found to be the best approach to controlling your calories to lose weight. We're going to break down this calories conversation into two parts. Controlling your calories through intake and through expenditure or activity. Calorie intake or eating. Most of us know that we have to watch the amount of food that we take in on a daily basis to hit the target weight that we want. Generally, a weight loss program defines an ideal weekly target goal between one to two pounds is safe. This is about 3,500 to 7,000 calories per seven days. It's important to know this because we tend to get too aggressive about our calorie restriction without paying attention to the fuel demands our bodies still need. Average daily calorie needs for men tends to be 2,500 calories per day, while women need about 2,000 calories per day. This adds up to about 17,500 per week for men and 14,000 per week for women. Personally, I tend to err on the safe side and like a one pound weight loss per week. This means you only have to cut about 500 calories per day to hit 3,500 calories per week. While you can certainly be more aggressive and try to lose two pounds per week, this tends to be unsustainable for most people. If you need help figuring out what an ideal calorie deficit is for you, shoot me a DM and we can try and see where you are on a daily and weekly basis. Exercise and activity. Move more. This is typically the kind of advice you've probably heard around losing weight and bettering your health. It's usually because it's easier for you and I to do something active to feel like we're actually attacking our weight. For most of us, the gold standard we've heard about is doing cardio for 30 minutes to use up to 240 to 355 calories per session. Assuming that you're on the low end of that, at 240 calories per session, you need to do cardio for an hour if you decided to only control your calories with exercise. This means having to go over to the gym every day for an hour per session. Putting it together. As you can probably already see, either of these approaches on their own comes with its advantages and limitations. What I like about controlling your intake is that you can directly influence it on a day-to-day -day basis from meal to meal. Consistency can be better with this approach since you can do it anywhere you go. Working out on the other hand can be useful if you're good at scheduling in that hour per day to hit that minimum target calorie expenditure. Exercise tends to be more engaging and can be more exciting for you if you like being in the middle of the action. Now, both these approaches can have their limitations. Regardless of which you choose to lean heavily on, both will require that you pay more attention to what you eat or what you do every day from now on. I've already mentioned before that you can tend to overdo either of these approaches. In the case of your intake, you can limit it to the point where you're not providing your body enough food to sustain even your basic day-to-day -day activities. And so you start to get sense for how many calories are in each meal that you eat. You're going to need to weigh and measure each morsel to know the amount of calories in every bite. With training, you'll have to block out that hour of exercise each day. This will also include adding in the time to get to and from the gym or wherever you decide to work out. Depending on where you're starting, you may be physically limited to the types of movements you can do for your exercise. If you're overweight or have other physical limitations, you might not be able to do nearly as much activity to reach the desired expenditure. Ultimately, it helps to find the best balance between the two, intake and expenditure, for you to reach those daily caloric numbers and hit the weekly goals you set for yourself. This is where coaching can help to give you a professional, outside perspective to guide you to the customized plan that suits your lifestyle the best. It isn't to say that you can't do this on your own. You can certainly put in the additional time and effort for trial and error. Coaching simply means that you can speed up the process and make it easier to slide into the right plan for you. Thanks for tuning in to Prime Life Radio. Once again, I'm your host, Mark Kavanagh. Before we go our separate ways, I want to make sure that you get the most out of these shows by doing a few key things. First, make sure that you subscribe so I can send you a new episode each time they come out. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you happen to be watching this on YouTube and comment below with something you've learned from this episode. Make sure that you hit that notification bell so you know each time a new episode is released. Did you hear something that someone in your friends or family could use? Make sure to spread the love and share the episode with them. Now, if you're looking for more personal help, feel free to reach out at myfriendwithbeing.com to get in touch with me indirectly and we can set up a time for a 15-minute call. 
Thank you again so much for joining me on Prime Life Radio. This has been Mark Kavanagh, reminding you that no matter how tough things get, remember to keep fucking going.